Honestly, I think that Judy Baca is one of the most important artists working today. Not only because she has mastered all the technical skills of painting, drawing, creating murals, but also because Judy Baca has expanded the very definition of art to include using visual expression as a way to build and strengthen community. She began working on what became the largest mural on the planet, which is called the Great Wall of Los Angeles. What she did was uh, bring together at-risk youth from various communities in Los Angeles and educate them in art, thinking and art production, and she invited groups of them across racial, ethnic, religious lines to come together and conceptualize and execute the formerly uh, disadvantaged, oppressed, and silenced people of Los Angeles history. Judy comes from my hometown, Pacoima, and we are first generation a college graduate. And so therefore, I understand her challenges that she had because they were my challenge. Except I didn't have her talent, you know, to be an artist. And But I respect her deep commitment to something that I'm also committed to, and that is investing in our young people. They're our greatest resource, especially the kids who have many barriers, who have limited resources, and know there's something in them that loves art. And she cultivates that and she enhances it. And that has been an incredible freedom of that young person that wants to express themselves but didn't know how. And she's that vehicle that helps cultivate that young person. What makes Judy Baca stand out as an artist is her ambition and her capacity to take these unlikely scenarios and unlikely resources and transform them into these beautiful spaces. We've made a lot of innovations. I think that's been one of the most exciting things being a young artist is seeing someone have the capacity to take an idea to scale and to fight for the idea when it's actually a really important one. What stood out to me when Judy Baca was mentoring me was her ability to teach me how to re-examine memory and to how to give an appreciation, a deepened appreciation to other people's memories. When I first met Judy, I had spent uh, I'd spent a lot of time just writing about her work. And the first time I met her, I actually was speechless. Judy is someone that has focused across fields and across ages and across race and culture. She is about creating systems of support. So we are better off as contemporary artists living in Los Angeles because she has created spaces and engendered talent and nurtured artists uh, and administrators and really good painters. All of those, those different aspects, any one of those would be fantastic for one person. You did a great job, good career, and but Judy's held those all together um, and really pushed the, those ideas of what it means to be an artist. Judy, you know I love you and have always respected you and I want to congratulate you for giving your life to art and community building and to empowering the formerly disempowered and invisible members of our society. Judy, thank you for the many, many inspiring moments and so many of us are eternally thankful for what you've shown us. Well, Judy, I just wanted to say congratulations on receiving this award and to thank you for your mentoring and for your advocacy. I'm so proud that I'm your friend. I'm so proud of your accomplishments. And you so well represents the best in an artist, scholar, and in a uh, wonderful activist. I'm proud of you. Felicidades.